Hey everyone, so today we have here the Dell G515 and we're just going to be doing a screen replacement on this one. So this is one of their higher end uh, gaming laptops that they actually have. And the screen actually here just doesn't work. So this one actually comes with NVIDIA graphics card. And, uh, it's, a, it's pretty nice, it's an i7. It's actually a 9 to i7, so it's very, very new. So the display doesn't work. So when you turn it on, this is kind of what you get. get this screen. So we just want to replace the screen today. So the first thing you want to do, always the screen replacements or anything you really work on any computer, you want to make sure you take out the battery. To take out the battery you need to remove the bottom cover. It should just be a bunch of screws on top and the bottom. Alright. So once you get that up, then you just want to take maybe like a guitar pick or something, and this should just prop up, just like that. It should come up. That battery connection is actually damaged here, and the uh, client actually did damage it. See, it's, so you just want to make sure we're pretty gentle. Just go underneath it, maybe like a fingernail or something, because if he tried this before, it just came up. So you can just kind of take it up here, just be very gentle. You don't want to ruin the connection on the board. So. Once the battery connection is out, you can just shut it, just to keep it on the bottom so the bottom isn't touching um, the table. We have anti-static, but um, if you're doing it anyway, you don't want other components to touch or maybe rub or anything to pull off. So now we want to take off the bezel here. And we can do that pretty easily, I hope. It should just come up just like that. Oh, it's a little bit stuck here. Okay. So there we go. This is off. So it doesn't look like that this is held in place by any screws. It actually looks like it, you can see there's two flaps here. There's two flaps. So there's one on each side. And what this is actually, this is adhesive tape. So in this model, we actually do have adhesive tape. So but. But since they showed us this here, you see it kind of pulls a little bit. You can just grab like some tweezers and you kind of want to just go really gentle. And you, just, you can pull up or um, what you want to do is you want to go this way so it pulls down. If you grab the tweezers, just go like this the whole way. You hear this. Right, make sure this is a real workout for your hand too. Okay, so that this is how much it is, like a big chunk. So usually it's removing. Just take a little slicer here. Just go like this. Maybe just, just take it off. Okay, and now we're ready to do the next side. All right, cool. Finally, just be careful. It could be a little bit of sticky or adhesive or something, but I don't see anything after that, so that's good. Yeah, the webcam's up there too. All right, so now you just want to make sure you take out the cable. All right. Take okay. So that's the LCD taken out. When you adhesive the back of any type of screen, you usually want to check to see how it was done last time. So the screen actually had adhesive on two sides. It's on the left side here and on the right side here that we just pulled down. 
Um, sometimes you can try to look at the, at the LCD, the old LCD, but there really aren't any marks to, to show where it is. Um, most of the time then, if you can't see it on the LCD, it's most likely it's going to be on the back cover. So you want to check the back cover if it's going to have any lines or just any type of little crease that kind of shows. Um, it's really hard to show this on camera, but it looks like there's a little bit of a crease here, kind of where the glue was, and a little bit up here. Those are my indicators to put the adhesives on this side right here, just up and down. There wasn't any that were going across, it was just all straight down from last time because that's where we pulled it from. You always want to put it exactly the way it was before. Um, you don't have to put more, I mean you could put a little bit more maybe in the center and stuff like that, but if you have a problem in the future, this one's going to be much more harder because there isn't those little strips that you can pull down and take off the adhesive. This one's just going to be a different type. Um, I do recommend maybe using like a 3M or something like that that really does it very well. All right, so there's one side done, and we want to put it on the other side too. Again, there's this little bit, it's really hard to show you, but there's a little bit of a crease here. Looks like it's, it's like I can line it up over there. But it's pretty much the same spot that we just removed it anyway, so just kind of makes sense. Let's do it there again. Let's just put it all the way down. take that off and now all we want to do is put this back on make sure everything's flat it feels pretty good it's not going to fall out make sure the cable goes over here too there we go because that was a little bit under this too I want to put a little bit of heat so it sticks a little bit better just on the back here if that's done then we can take off this Take off the wrap because once you put on the frame, it's going to be very difficult to take that off. So. Right, now we're going to put this back. Just clip on. Right, the clip's pretty easy. So. It just looked good. It looks pretty good. All right, so last thing we want to do, of course, is to plug back in the battery. So let's just do that. Just plug back in the battery, and then we should be all good to go. Okay, just like that. All right, guys, so that's how you do the Dell G515 5590. That's just a screen replacement on this one. So at least they give you the adhesive strips. Now, if this ever does happen again, because I did put my adhesive strips on there, I'm going to have to heat up this back part here and take it out that way manually. Um, it's a lot more difficult, so at least the Dell ones actually do give you that. It's really surprising, you don't really see Dell do a whole lot of adhesive screens to that, but at least they do give you the strips, so it's, it's pretty similar to like doing like an iPhone battery or something, that little strip. Or if you checked out our other Lenovo one we did a long time ago, I believe it was like the 17 ISK or the 70 ISK. Um, it has, it's very similar, you take out a screw and then there's a little adhesive strip that you can kind of pull out and just kind of twist it around. Of course, when you do that, just be very gentle because if you pull it too hard, you actually lose the adhesive. And once you lose it, then it's going to be very difficult to, to remove it from there because there's still going to be glue on there. And the glue might be like cut in half, so it's going to be hard to reach it. So you pretty much have to do the whole process then after that. But anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you found this video very helpful, please leave a like down below. 
Um, we will be pushing out, of course, more content. We're trying to do more repairs and maybe more talkovers about kind of certain brands and just kind of how we feel in some repairs. But if you did enjoy it, please subscribe as well. We're getting a lot more content coming soon. And anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.